Hello everybody, welcome back to the 25 days of Alexa Kid Christmas. It is currently 13 days till Christmas. Holy crap, it's 13 days till Christmas. What the hell? That is wild. Uh, we're doing a mod spotlight today. We're looking at the Snowball mod, which is by uh, Mr. Evil Pickle. So let's spawn in this bad boy. Uh, it's a snowball. We get a little Santa hat and we literally fire out occasional snowball tears. And the snowball tears will put a little, uh, put a little puddle on the ground, puddle of water as it goes down. Am I going to take Cursed Eye to start this run? <sighs> sure, why not? No reason not to, am I right? I mean, there's every reason not to, and then these are both crappy. I mean... Oh, what do you do with this, huh? I think you say no. Oh, no, 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 he's a rocket man. How are you guys doing? Uh, I'm doing okay. Just finished up a stream. Finished up a stream. And I saw the sign, I finished up the stream. Over on twitch.tv slash alexakid, shameless plug, go follow me there if you uh, ever want to see me stream. The entire month of December we're doing uh, charity streams, and we've already raised $88 for charity, which is incredible, uh, and you guys are fantastic human beings for uh, making that reality. We had a $100, uh, $100 goal for the month of December, we're not even halfway through the month, and you guys have basically already nailed the goal. We're going to end up going up to... Uh, 200 which is wild we also uh we're gonna be doing a six hour charity stream on december 22nd it's a friday mark it on your calendars come hang out for uh, an hour or two or six hell if you want to stay the entire time we'll be doing uh six different games we'll probably do a wheel of isaac to start out uh and then just let the world go from there i'm sure some other people will hop in it'll be a good time i'm shameless plugging a lot right now that's not the point of this video. I, Although I do want to do some more shameless plugging real quick. Well, while you're all here, I might as well shameless plug. Let's be honest, you just want to see some Isaac. That's what we're doing. Uh, December's a busy month for y'all, isn't it? I'm interested to see what you guys say. Uh, surprisingly, my view count has... God oh, dang it. Uh, my view count has gone way down in December. Not way down. I mean, we're still doing very well. Uh, but in comparison to November... It's night and day, and I, I know, at least me personally, I'm busy as hell right now. You know, all of the people that I enjoy watching, uh, streams or video-wise, I haven't been able to watch anything, because I just, I genuinely don't have time in December right now. And I'm just wondering, are you guys, uh, are you guys struggling too, to find time for stuff right now? Because obviously, Isaac videos, they're always going to do okay, but uh, I encourage you guys to go out and check out some of the other stuff that I'm uh, putting out. The RimWorld series is just straight up hysterical. Uh, the GeoGuessr with Ryan and Penta is A plus quality entertainment. Uh, and I've just been, I, I'm thinking that I'm putting out some pretty uh, awesome content lately. And I want to make sure you guys are expanding your horizons to watch more than Isaac. Uh, or maybe you just haven't had time. And to that I say, uh, you know what? I hope you find some time. And I hope that. Uh, your schedule frees up soon. The holidays, it's a busy time of year uh, for a lot of people. It's final exam time. It's, uh, you know, you're preparing for the holidays. There's all kinds of stuff going on, and I, I get that 150%. I just realized we've had the, uh, we've had the Bible this entire time, and that means we can utilize it to do some things and stuffs. And we should utilize it to do some things and stuffs. So that's good. Uh, let's go find our double key room, I guess. I don't really know what to do with this. This is an awesome room. Okay. Uh, we have a million bombs. We get a item, a luck upgrade. It's just like everything that could have gone well in that room has gone extraordinarily well. So I'm pretty happy about that. And then we come in here, we get a one-up. Just continue to... Uh, Make my life a living, beautiful place. I don't care. I'm content. A lot of people are going to be like, Tyler, Cursed Eye is trash. Uh, Cursed Eye is doing just fine for us right now. I got no complaints. As a whole, I genuinely don't mind Cursed Eye. But right now, it's, it's proven to be pretty dang good for us. Uh, as our... We're just able to punch out a lot of... Uh, good damage in our enemies' faces right now, which is a good place to be. We are going to need 
like, a stat upgrade of some kind. And I'm hoping that we just basically get it here shortly. Also, we will get the Super Seeker Room here shortly. And it's going to be the damn best play you've ever seen in your life. You ready for this? Can't touch this. And can't touch... Okay, good enough, you know? Can't touch this. What are we going to do with the Emperor card? Uh, We're going to save it. It's the, uh, it's not usually the time of the year to, uh, save your money. It's usually the time of the year you lose a lot of money. You're buying gifts for people. You're buying gifts for yourself. It's okay to treat yourself sometimes. Toothpicks is A-OK. -okay. Uh, and this is all A-OK. -okay, and we will be taking all of it and then moving on with our life. Okay, this was a fan flippin -tastic deal with the devil. I'm gonna head on down. 4.96 damage is, uh... It's plentifully nice. I'm not going to deny it. In here, sure. I'll take some Hungry Tears action, and honestly, I'll just go to my boss fight. So Hungry Tears Cursed Eye uh, is actually, like, a real dang good synergy. Except for the fact that I'm about to die. So, like, maybe not that amazing of a synergy. That scared the living bejesus out of me. But now we are sitting pretty... We have a red heart, and I would like to find my item room. Okay, Hungry Tears is fun, though, uh, and Cursed Eye is a great synergy for it. So, not only do we get to uh, do some modded snowball action, but we also get to uh, do some action with our... There's a small chance of just just, just overrode uh, snowball, which means it's just gone. Maybe it isn't. I mean, who knows? It is a bit disappointing if it did, though. <laughs> you guys saw what Snowball did. We're just here to play Isaac. I don't need to, uh... I don't need to do too, too much. You should absolutely go check out, uh, the Snowball mod. It's just a... It's a good... I don't want to call it a quality of life mod, because it's genuinely not what a quality of life mod means. But it's just one that we're like... It's a simple item. It's a good item that should be in the game. Uh, and it's a little holiday-themed. Which, let's be honest, that's uh, what we're trying to do here, is some holiday-themed stuff. I really do hope you guys are enjoying the uh, 25 Days of Alexa Kid Christmas. The videos you have watched. Let me know in the comments down below your favorite moment so far uh, from the 25 Days. Whether it's been a stream, uh, a video, something that happened on Discord, I don't know. Whatever you want. That was actually pitiful. And that spewed out in the most beautiful array I've ever seen. And that array did indeed start at 1. Ugh, programming jokes. Speaking of programming, if you're interested in uh, coding in any way, shape, or form, but just haven't learned, put out a video uh, a couple days ago by the time this comes out that was a little basic coding tutorial. Go check that out as well. The Wiz, absolutely. This is just like the run of strange items. I love it. Is going beautiful. It's actually been maybe a week since I've played Isaac. A tears down sucks. Uh, it's been a while since I've played Isaac, so it feels good to get back. Get back. Down, down, get back. Get back, JoJo. Isaac was a man whose mother was a killer. He always hid around in his bed. Down, 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 down. Isaac was a man whose poop was never thinner he could shoot it with his tears get back get back get back to where you once belonged I don't know there, there was something there it wasn't bad for on the spot you're not gonna deny that this run is great uh it needs damage though I mean, I'm also pretty okay with them teleporting me out right there. This run needs damage, and I'd, I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to get uh, Tractor Beam right now. The Wiz is good uh, to some people. I find it good. Other people find it absolutely Jack Black horrible. But uh, I like it. I think it's a fun item. Has some fantastic synergies as well. If we pull off a... Uh, 
double shot, triple shot, any shot during this run, you'll see its true powers. I see your true powers. Okay, we don't have enough keys. And I would like to go to my item room, and I'd like to go to my shop. Hell, I want to go everywhere on this one right now. There's a lot of good things to see. Places to go people to see. Here's our shop. I think this is our first stop destination. Because we can buy a key in here. Never mind. We'll buy a peel instead. Hingle McCringleberry. Alright. And you know what? I want to fight this guy. There's really no reason not to. And he's not very difficult to kill, let's be honest. Whoa, stop it. Uh, and then you're just gonna kill me. Okay. Cool. Uh, and then you're just gonna actually ruin the run as well. Because we're probably gonna die here. Oh, there you go. Cursed Eye. 10 out of 10 item, everybody. That was mighty unfortunate. I'm, I'm frightened for my life. There's no sing-song going to be done here. It's only sadness now. Kill this man. Kill these men. Okay. Well, there's our item room. It is not going to be possible for us to make it into it right now. Because we are missing a key. And I'm just dead. I'm dead as a freaking doorknob. I hate it. That was a good run. Damn. Well, give item Snowball. Get this uh, crap back happening. I'm so used to Cursed Eye now. Our rate of fire is abysmal. Well. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cry my uh, living eyes out. This is real bad. Bad situation to be in. Also a really crappy... Uh, eh, I suppose the items aren't too, too bad. But like... The whole rate of fire and damage and speed, it's just all kinds of horrible. I'm very upset. Okay, uh, well, let's let's continue on. Item Room still has a chance to be fantastic here. I'm not keeping my hopes up uh, too, too damn high at all. In fact, I kind of just want to die, but it's beside the point. I have exams that start... Oh, by the time this goes out, I've already taken one. Jesus Lord. Uh, that's not good. I'll keep Book of Bilal for now. Uh, got exams soon. Should be studying for those. Instead, I'm playing Isaac. It's usually... Uh, this is one of those Berenstein Bears kind of moments. Do as I say, not as I do. You really should study for your exams. Don't play Isaac instead of studying for your exams. If you're playing RimWorld, play RimWorld instead of studying for your exams. You might learn more playing RimWorld than you do studying for your exams at all. You'll for sure at least learn, like, why cannibalism exists in our world. Uh, and that's valuable information, I suppose. Especially if you're taking, like, a sociology class. I can see how that could be useful. But, uh, other than that, just follow Berenstein Bears here. Do as I say, not as I do. Do not play Isaac when you should be studying for exams. Do you guys ever... Have you heard of the, uh... It's called the Mandela, Mandela Effect? Based off of Nelson Mandela? And it's like, when you remember something that just never actually happened and something completely different happened. It's like, when you uh, think of how Berenstein Bears is spelled. It's, you know, I think of it as B-E-R-E-N-S-T-E-I-N, -E -E I think. That's hurting my brain to think about right now, but apparently it's like completely different from that. Uh, when you actually look at it, but like you you firmly believe this is how it's spelled. But when you actually look at the cover of the book, you're like, oh, it's not spelled like that. And like, it's called the Nelson Mandela effect because people remember Nelson Mandela dying in prison, but he didn't die in prison. That never actually happened. Uh, and there's some really, like some other whack things. It's like remembering a movie uh, called Sinbad, the genie where, uh, I forget who, no, wait. <laughs> It's where Sinbad plays a genie in a movie called Shazam. That's the right one. Uh, but people... This movie didn't actually exist. And you, like, remember this movie existing, but this movie did not actually exist. It's weird stuff. Like, I, I used that one with my parents because it was a movie that came out in, like, the 90s. And I, I was not... 
I mean, I was around in the 90s, the late 90s, but I wasn't around to the point where I could remember a movie featuring a specific actor, etc., etc. And uh, I asked my parents, I was like, you know, hey, do you remember a movie in the 90s where Sinbad played a genie? And they were like, oh yeah, Shazam. And then I was like, yeah, that movie didn't exist. And they were like, what? But there was apparently a movie where Shaq played a genie, Shazam. Which then, this goes into like... There's some weird race issues going on because you're just remembering a dark-skinned man playing a genie in a movie in the 90s. But, like, we're not going to go into that. That's not the point of this. But still, Mandela Effect. There's a ton of other ones, too. Uh, a lot of them revolve around celebrity deaths. Oh, screw me, man. I don't want to do this. Uh, a lot of them revolve around celebrity deaths. But there's a bunch of other ones like the Berenstain Bears, the Genie Shazam, Sinbad movie. Uh, it's just, like... It's some wacky stuff, dude. Even that, the other thing that blows my mind all the time, the amount of times that I will have deja vu on a, like, daily basis. Like, I think I have deja vu more than any one human being should. And it's in the worst opportune times, too. Like, just the other day, I was, uh... I know I've talked about this in a couple videos already, but I went and saw Coco with my girlfriend, the new Disney Pixar movie. It was very good, in case I didn't make that clear. Uh, it was a really good movie, but partway through it, during the one scene, I just randomly had deja vu of me getting a text message that my family got in a car crash. So as soon as the scene came on, my like heart rate started to spike. And I was like, why the hell is like all of a sudden I feel super anxious and stuff? And then I just like had this weird deja vu moment. And I was like, oh, I remember getting a text at right this moment that my family got in a car accident. And, uh, I obviously had never seen the movie before, and my family has only gotten into, like, two major car accidents ever, and I was there for both of them, uh, so I got, like, super anxious, and then a couple minutes passed, it was a new scene, I never got a text message, family never got in a car crash, but it's just, like, there's weird moments where you remember these things occurring, but you don't, they didn't happen, and I don't know... You know, maybe one of you secretly studies, like, major whereabouts of psychology in your free time, and you can explain to me why these things occur, but I genuinely, it's it's an enigma to me. It's a frightening thing to me. Uh, we're going to, by the way, per first come in here. That's a really good item. Uh, then we're going to come down here, and then we're going to do this, get a bomb. Then we're going to come down here. All right, come over here, and then we're going to come right here. We're going to pop this right here. Uh, that's going to give us these, and then we're going to go fight the boss. Okay. Deja Vu is weird. The too long didn't listen of this uh, thing here is Deja Vu is weird. The Mandela Effect is weird. The human brain is weird. Uh, I mean, Gene Simmons is kind of weird as well. Alexa Kid's a little, he's a little funky. But other than that, Rystar23, definitely weird. Everybody do me a favor right now. Let's see if we can, like, absolutely raid Ryan's channel in this video. I may or may not leave a link in the description. I'll try and remember to Rystar's channel. If you're feeling this ambitious and you want to make a holiday man's day and just do something nice, go to my channel, my homepage. On the right, find Rystar. And then just go subscribe to him like some of his videos, put comments on his most recent one, just say Alexa Raid, and then just see how many of you can go Raid Ryan. And go watch his videos, because he's got really fantastic content. He's a good friend of mine, but he's a great guy. You should go Raid him right now. It's the season of giving. Go Raid everybody's channels that I uh, am associated with. And just Alexa Raid him up. I want to see people out there Alexa Raiding, okay? It's a weird video. I, I don't really feel like talking about Isaac. I just feel like doing... Just like talking about life in the background of playing this right now. And this is like borderline what I do in every video. Let's be fair. I feel like that's why most of you actually enjoy my content. Is half the time like I'm just playing a game and talking about life. That's what I enjoy doing most. That's why I love games like GeoGuessr, Golf With Your Friends... You know, games that really don't require my brain a whole hell of a lot. I can just sit, I can play. You know, I have so many dang hours in Isaac at this point. Where it's just kind of like... You know, I continue to 
play this game. And I'm not going to say I'm good at Isaac. You know, I think that I'm in the top like 5% of Isaac players in the world. I have over 800 hours in this game on Steam and over probably like 1,500 overall if I combine all the systems I've played it on. I know this game inside and out. Uh, obviously, I still make stupid mistakes, but I'm able to play Isaac and I don't have to put any thought into this game whatsoever. I also don't have to put any angelic prism into this uh, game whatsoever. Haha, <laughs> Isaac jokes, but uh, it's just like, it's nice. You know, it, it, it's the difference between games like Gungeon for me and games like Isaac. Gungeon, if I don't pay attention, I die on the first floor. So then my commentary is not where it should be, you know? People want the wild commentary. I can't give it in Gungeon because I'm focusing too much on not ruining my run in Gungeon. It's tough, you know, I want to get to a point where, you know, I'm good at games and I can play games and, you know, like, be able to actually commentate them with the commentary that you guys uh, come here for. Because no, it's no denying, you know, you guys mainly watch my Isaac content. There's a lot of you in the uh, comments right now that only watch me for Isaac and I'm not going to sit here and start that rant again. I've done it a million times. Uh, that's okay. Like, if you want to watch Isaac, watch Isaac, but... You know, I look at the differences between my Isaac videos and other videos. It's a really good item. Uh, and one big difference, you know, I do spend more time just being myself in Isaac videos. I'll ramble on and on about useless garbage in my Isaac videos. And sometimes in some of my other content, uh, I don't do it. Because I just, I have to focus on the game I'm playing. Or I have to, uh, sure, you know what, I'll take Nightlight. Why not? We had Curse of the Darkness, so might as well. Did I have Curse of the Darkness? I might be losing my mind. I swear to God, it got brighter in here. But, no, we definitely didn't, because we have Curse of the Unknown. I don't know what the hell is going on. Uh, if we get Curse of the Darkness, we won't have Curse of the Darkness. How about that? Cash me outside. Okay, kill these guys. Bing, bang, boom. Money, 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 money. Money. Benny. Benny and the Jets. What's your favorite Elton John song? There's a lot of good ones. Me, personally, I think I gotta go with I'm Still Standing. Uh, don't you know that? I'm Still Standing. Great song. Tiny Dancer is up there as well. Hold me closer, Tiny Dancer. Your song, if you're going for the uh, ballad, is an all-time classic. Another syringe as well. This run is also really good. Both of these past two runs have been pretty solid. Uh, Benny and the Jets, obviously. Crocodile Rock. Saturday Night's Alright for Fighting. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. And then you could go, hell, you could go the uh, Lion King route. Elton John wrote all those too. Can you feel the love tonight? And then you need, like, to do a Pumbaa and Timon voice. And if. He falls in love tonight. That was a bad Timon. That's the first time I've ever tried to impersonate a meerkat before in my life. So cut me some slack. That was horrible. Nah, oh, ah, Pumba. Nah, it's also not working. Cut me some slack. I'm not an impersonator. I pride myself on being able to do a halfway decent Barack Obama, a halfway decent Donald Trump. A halfway decent uh, Patrick Warburton. And then I feel like I've gotten Yoda down pat. I still Kermit the Frog. I want to, but I, I haven't figured it out yet. And then Louis Armstrong, I have not figured out yet either. I know that both of them completely ruin your voice. And I need my voice to make money on YouTube. So. But I can promise you, someday... Someday, someday we will make the Kermit the Frog meme Trump come true. <laughs> Jesus. My, my whole mind decided to just take those words and be like, Nope, you're not going to say these correctly. Make my whole dream come true. Charlie, make my dream come true. That was Forrest Gump meets Charlie Bits My Finger. Bits? Charlie Twitch Bits My Finger. I'm losing my mind. Okay. Am I out of my head? Am I out of my mind? 
I only want to say a word in Kermit's voice. That song is solely good because of Machine Gun Kelly in it, who is from my hometown. Thus, I find him cool. He's also a good rapper. I'm not going to deny it. Machine Gun Kelly's quality. Invincible is easily his best song, which a lot of people will disagree with me on. And I don't listen to a lot of rap, and I can't even say I've listened to a lot of Machine Gun Kelly, but Invincible is just, it's a banger. If you haven't listened to Invincible by Machine Gun Kelly, go listen to that. If you haven't listened to any Elton John songs in your life, go listen to all of them. Every single one he's ever released. It'll only take you a couple years, you're fine. Uh, what other artists should you listen to? Listen to Jay Sings Harambe. Please don't do that, though. Okay. This run is doing okay. Now, our damage is fine. Our rate of fire is fine. But none of it is good yet. And we continue to get a bunch of items that are just okay. You know, one syringe I will start to feel fantastic because Spun will carry us. We are bound to get a deal with the devil on this floor, which will hopefully contain the keys to the kingdom. What those keys are, I genuinely don't know yet but i'm hoping that they're just going to be like here have death touch death touch would be a 10 out of 10 item for this run right now really piercing shots is all we need kamikaze is the exact opposite of anything we need i will take blister not that it's all that good it's just going to make my life disaster but we don't have a trinket so i might as well take it Knockback is not really what we need. No, oh, puns. But, uh... Alright, just continue to do these things we do for love. The things we do for love. And then Super Seeger Room is going to contain... Trash. And then we bite the bullet and we come in here and we hope we get HP from the boss and then a deal with the devil. Because we will not be able to take a deal in our current state. This blank rune is going to be used to uh, hopefully perthrow bad things. If we reach that point. But we, we shall see here shortly. Gertie is dead. We get HP and no deal. So now I popped on Zeus. And now I popped Yera, which gave me two more black runes. Now I have an Awaz. And then Perthrow, which gave me Pentagram. So in the end, I mean, we, we got that locked up, but could have been better. I do want to go to the shop. Now that I, I mean, I know exactly where it is, we might as well. Uh, the extra damage, it feels okay. I would love the extra tiers right about now. Nine rate of fire is just, it's not very good is the problem here the goal i mean we're gonna for sure get a deal on the next floor the goal is for that deal to contain some form of damage as well steam sale is worth and this is worth and you know what a lover's card why not buddy send me to the promised land my boys and my ladies let's head on down I want more tea. I had tea on stream. It was delicious tea, and now I'm out of tea. Doesn't mean I have low tea. Very different, but... I do just not enough tea. Can we talk real quick? So, the Undertale fandom in my comment section is about to love this reference I make. So, at the very beginning of Undertale, Toriel asks you, she goes, uh, Do you want something something or butterscotch pie? I don't remember what the other option is because once I see butterscotch, my whole mind blocks out everything else on this earth. I love butterscotch more than like anything else on this earth. It's one of my favorite sweet flavors uh, out there. That, caramel, they're both like god tier quality sweets flavor. I went to, there's a little dairy farm uh, where I go to school down the road. They do homemade ice cream. And they pack it in quarts uh, for you to take home if you want a quart of their ice cream. And they have a butterscotch chip ice cream 
That is legitimately like as butterscotch flavored ice cream with then little butterscotch chips in it. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to get fat because of this ice cream. Because not it's like the milk for the ice cream was like hand milk that day kind of deal. It's just incredible. Like everything about that ice cream is the greatest stuff on this earth. They have a bunch of other flavor flavors too. We got caramel apple one time. Uh, that was delicious as well. Uh, Buttersky, there's literally like tons. Please kill him. I don't even want to see his face. Okay, that's a little bit violent. Find my deal with the devil, please. I want the good stuff. And the good stuff means I want an item that is deal with the devil good quality. Varicose in veins is actually very nice. But now I just want to get Dull Razor and then Rocket. Instead, we're going to get the Plopia, which is also, like, A-OK. -okay, and we will be taking. Uh, and since we're on the Depths 1, Boss Rush seems unlikely. But the dream of a Diplopia Stars card is officially active. And I think the new goal is to make it to Boss Rush. I know I just lost all of my HP in this room. And I would consider that to be, oh, this wasn't the right way. Boss Rush is looking like an absolute impossibility. Which makes me sad. Because this Diplopia would have done great wonders. It's like how the Sorting Hat tells Harry, but you would be a great Slytherin. And Harry's like, no, F you, Dad. Uh, we would be great in Boss Rush right now. But sadly... The Sorting Hat put me in Gryffindor instead. And let's be fair, it's probably a bad idea to try to rush our way to Boss Rush. No pun intended. Especially when I'm on one singular Spirit Heart. And probably will die before we even make it there. Beautiful. I think these Snowballs do extra damage as well, which is kind of nice. Sister Vis. It's like real crappy. I do not like these bosses. They're not exactly insanely difficult. They're just annoying. They also have a lot of HP. Beautiful. And uh, awesome right here. Unless we get an Emperor card, there's no way in how we make it to boss rush. We get HP, which is beautiful. And then this is just not that great. Uh, I am going to take this. Pop it. We'll get Leviathan, which is awesome. And then we'll head down. Boss Rush is an impossibility. At this point in time. I will go in here. Pop these. Get these. Bang. T-Rose. Bang, bang, bang. And then take this. Come out. And then we're just going to hope and pray that Boss Rush is just sitting right up here. There's no way I beat Mom in 10 seconds, though. Give up on this dream, Tyler. There's no reason to go out of your mind. Yeah, we're not going to... Okay, it's four seconds. Say goodnight to Boss Rush Dreams. Our only chance is getting Mama Mega from the shop. Which is not an impossibility. I mean, there's, there's a chance. It's not the best chance. But there is a chance. We got Mama Mega from Boss Rush. From the shop. <laughs> Open up Boss Rush. Success. Succeeding. Everybody's happy. Bang, bang, bang. T-Rose. People probably have zero clue what that reference is. There's going to be one person that browses the NBA subreddit that's going to be like, Hey, I saw that post. Bang, bang, T-Rose. And to you, I nod my head. But the rest of you, no way in hell you get that reference. If you remind me, I'll leave a link to it. It's one of the funniest things on this earth. Even those that don't like basketball, you're going to find this hysterical. I can promise you that. Bang, 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 T-Rose. Watch that be a teleport card just to spite me. It, uh, it's going to be. I don't even have to look at it. It's going to be a probably a shop hermit card. This room sucks. Eh, it's a stars card. Close enough. What do we use it for? Uh, well, I mean, we're going to go to the shop. And still hope to God Mama Mega's sitting in there. There's no other way to open up the boss rush door besides Dad's key, uh, which we will most likely not be getting either here. If it wasn't in our item room. 
then unless I'm blowing up every rock looking for a crawl space that might have dad's key in it, I think we're better off just uh, enjoying our life that we have. Sadly, not going to boss rush. One of you, do the seed. The seed is uh, 9ZBDESDD. Do the seed. Figure out what boss rush is. Let me know what I missed. I'm intrigued. By the time this goes out, I will genuinely not care anymore, but one of you will do it. And I'll read the comment. I'll go, hey, yeah, that's neat. I'm glad I missed out on uh, Proptosis, Polyphemus, Tech X, and something else all sitting in there. Mom's coin purse, Magic Fingers. And we tried. You, you can't even say we didn't try. It was good effort. You know what? I will, I will go in here. And I will take Dead Cat. That's a real good pickup for us. We're actually like, one guppy item away, right? Or did we get uh, guppy's head on the last one? No, that was on this one. Time to find Mama. We'll hopefully get a deal here, even though I'm not positive we deserve it. And we're still, this run is, like, not very good. We still need damage, and we still need a tears up, like, super badly. The fact that our tier stats started at, like, 17 is horrible. It's just absolutely disgusting. And it makes life incredibly difficult for us to, uh, succeed. And this fight is also taking forever, almost five ever at this point. You know what? Slam my body into her. That worked well. Uh, take the Polaroid. Head on down. Happy days. Holy crap, this video is long. Did not feel this long. I was supposed to record until, uh, 5. It's 5.30. That's a problem. Bang, 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 T-Rose. I am just going to lose this run again. Without ever using Depolpia. Oh, well, it'll be a sad day. Bang, 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 T-Rose. Two spades. 15 keys we get from that. A pretty good deal when you get right down to it, but... Not really what I need right now. Unless I have a magic uh, two of damage card. Just multiplies my damage by two. 14 would feel significantly better than seven right now. It's a shame because you look at the stats, you go, oh, this run seems pretty good. Even you look at the items and you're like, yeah, this run seems pretty good. This run is not that good. It's literally just this one tier stat that does not want to go below nine. As making my life a living disaster. It's a sad day. Am I out of my mind? Okay, pretty fly. Slam that bomb into this guy's face. Feel the wrath of the lamb and the bomb. Bang, bang, T Rose. Pop that, nothing. Continue on and on and on and on. Hooked on a feeling, down, down, out, down. I'm high on believing. I'm high on journeys. Don't stop believing, down, 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 down. We had this talk on stream today. Is "Don't Stop Believing" a good song? Because my answer is not really. Pent is like, oh, it's an all-time classic, and I'm like, eh, "Don't stop believing" is kind of cliche. It's like a little bit overplayed and not that good. Like Journey has significantly better songs that are not Don't Stop Believing. But instead you go to a frat party and they play Don't Stop Believing and then cherish the 80s partway through. That doesn't actually occur. I'm letting you know right now. I'm not part of a frat. I have zero interest in being part of a frat. This is not who I am as a person. Thank God we finally found this boss. Okay, well, here's the plan. We kill Conquest. We will not be getting a syringe from this, which means we will not be getting spun on this run, which is just damn disappointing, to be fair. So instead, we get a pony, which we don't give a damn about. Awesome. Uh, and then we'll be getting a deal with the devil, hopefully, that will contain some item of high beauty and magnitude. At this point, I will take anything. If it is worth diplopying, then I will diplopia it. But right now, it's looking like we're going to save diplopia for La Chesto. We did get a deal. This is not worth diplopying. Uh, I will take Empty Vessel because it's good. And then I will head down. 
Sure, man. Why not? Happy days. And now we go in the search of the forbidden mom fight. Why is it forbidden? It's not actually. There's nothing forbidden about it. Besides the fact that the game's trying real hard to make sure I don't get there. By giving me this crap run. Am I being too harsh on the run? I might be. I mean, we are one guppy item away. We are one syringe away from just, like, all kinds of good stuff. Tears up. Oh, he predicted it. Oh, it feels good, too. We need pills now. Hit me with your best pill. Down, down, down. Go on in. Hit me with your best pill. This has to be the way of the boss fight. It's the We Believe team right now. Beautiful. Easy breezy. Beautiful. Cover girl. Moolah. Some sweet moolah. Feels quite nice. I don't know how I didn't get hit. Trust the process. Joel Embiid style. Beautiful. Yeah, you gotta try. A guppy item is sitting there waiting for us. Uh, you know what? I'm out of here. I don't need this. I have no idea where we are now. Which is a slight problem. Genuinely no clue where we're at. This is not the way to the boss fight. That went well. And that did not. That went well. And this went well as well. Okay. We gotta be close. So, what you're saying is that was not the way to the boss. A uh, screw me, frankly. At this point, we're gonna pop all pills. I'm drowsy. I am a little drowsy right now. Balls of steel, that feels nice. That's a good, good thing and stuff. This room has no windows and has no doors. Move on. Why does it seem like I've explored this entire floor and there's still like 7,000 rooms left? I'm frustrated and all I want is another tears up pill. One more tears up pill, we're sitting pretty. It's sad that that's all it takes. This is definitely the way of the boss, right? Allow me to feel life again. We somehow got a spirit heart drop from that, pardon me? And then an Awaz rune. Or Jera, Jera, Jera. It's a Jera rune. We'll be using the Jera rune uh, to do the things and stuff. The things we do for love. No, we'll use the Yara rune to double chest on the chest, and then we'll be able to diplopia the things that we like and don't like. It's going to be a beautiful experience. I'm just letting you know this right now. It's going to make it all worth it. We just have to freaking get there. And that is proving to be a tremendous struggle right now. I hate that I got hit right there. You know what? Pop out. Pop in. This is where we get the syringe. It's where we get spun. The entire run takes off. I don't want no haters in the chat right now. It's just, I mean, I was about to say it's just Succubus. It's just one of the best items in the game. Succubus is very good. One of my favorites. Get in there. 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 Beautiful. I will allow you to hit me, just this once. Hit me, baby, one more time. I'm trying to Britney you right now. Hit, I mean, sure, I, if you just want to do that, that's fine. I'm not going to the void. You can suck on my dongle. I do not want to go to the void at all. I want to go to the chest. I want to use this Yara rune, and then I want to succeed by way of the addition of like 15 items that will all do beautiful things for me i'm also going to die but we have nine lives 
So in the end, who's the real winner here, huh? I'll give you a hint. It's me. Why did I do this room? I, mainly, I just hate my life. That's why I did it. It feels good to do rooms that are a 100% waste to my time and energy. Honestly, death was probably the right option there. Don't choose death, everybody, but in that case, choose death. And during exam week, just choose death. Probably easier. I'm being facetious. Do not choose death. Well, I'm just dead. I think we do a fun thing. Oh, jeez. That was fun. We are going to clear this room. Even though I'm pretty sure I know where the secret room is. And it's to the right over there. They have not chucked a bomb down there yet. It was not the secret room. Never mind. We should pick up that book. That's actually going to give us bookworm. So, bang bang T-Rose. Bookworm transformation. And then come in here. Slap all these guys. Vibrant bulb is so good. Yes. I'm feeling it. That feels real nice. Vibrant Bulb is a 10 out of 10 trinket. Especially when you're rocking an item that is not necessarily a spacebar item. That sucked. I refuse to lose this run, by the way. I'm just letting you know that right now. There are too many fun things to be had, and I everybody dislike this video if I lose. I can't believe I'm encouraging this, but... You deserve to see this Diplopia Yera action. And see it, you will. Mmm. See it, you will. But, uh... Ah, we should not have bombed him, actually. Should have played him. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. I'm starting to get a little frazzled. No, we are... Four hits away from death. Sure. We'll probably lose that, but it's the thought that counts, I suppose. Just placed a bomb just straight up, uh, not even touching the ground. It's not the super secret room, so I don't care. We just found the super secret room. I'm an idiot. Fight Isaac. This is the test. We get past this, life is pretty, we win the run. We don't get past this. Uh, well, I mean, we, we lose if we don't get past it. We have been hit. Get Isaac into third phase. Third phase. Let's do this. Okay. Feeling good. Usually no way in hell we lose at this point. But I will say it's been a little while since I fought Isaac, so who knows... There's always a chance for these things. I don't like anything that has to do with this. He's actually a madman right now. He's a madman! I hate it. <sighs> I hate it. Choose life. We're doing fine. Honestly, everything's going fine. Don't mind me. I'm just going to be quiet as I fight Isaac. Extraordinarily nice. I almost just waltzed right into his face. We would have done the chimichanga with him. The chimichango tango. The Timmy Turner Tango. <laughs> Completely different. Why did you have to be at an angle in which I couldn't hit you in the face? Don't you know you're not allowed to be at those angles? And this should do it. Nope, one more. And Isaac is a dead man. Go down and then it's time to enjoy our lives, everybody. I didn't think the day would ever come. So, Yera. Open everything. We take the things we don't want doubled. Doubling Magic Mush doesn't do anything. 
Uh, to be fair, doubling most of these doesn't do anything. So, take, 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 double. They remove that? Pardon me? Isn't that supposed to put a bunch of new items in? I'm mad. Alright, well, we get chocolate milk, uh, which is, it's insanely good. It's gonna make our damage top tier, no pun intended. Uh, and we'll be able to successfully complete this run without any issues whatsoever, but I am a little bit mad that that didn't work the way that I remember it working. Edmund McMillan, what happened, buddy? That's okay. Life is still fine. We walked out with a good loadout of items. Including a double rune bag, which will pop down more Yeras, which will pop down more chests, which will pop down uh, more items, and then we continue on from there. So, it worked out fine. Ansus also will just show us the way. Which is good. I enjoy having my way shown. And I still would love to break the game right here. So slap me those Yara runes. Well, we'll get Eye of Greed. Which does it do a whole hell of a lot for us? Uh, yeah, I mean, it'll freeze enemies, which is good. That's really the only thing that I can say positive about it right now, but... We don't need the money. If we get money equals power, then I, I eat my socks, and, uh... Then it was a great choice, but... It's just kind of here. I am patiently awaiting the Yara slash double Yara that we will receive. Awas. Alges. Also good. But I can't deny. I would really, really, really like a Yara rune. And then a chest to drop. Preferably in that order. Battery charge. Is neither one of the two things I said. That was incredibly close. It was also extremely loud. When we, like, first walk into a room, our tear is enormous. Like, sometimes... Oh, it's a snowball, dude. When the snowball tear hits, y'all better watch out. You better not cry. You better not doubt. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus. Okay, that is where we do the things we do for love when we get these Yara runes. And that is not one. I'm mad. Okay. We don't need you guys. We also don't need no education. Pop that. Come up here. Super secret room. Still no gupsters. We were one item away from two different transformations. Just slightly infuriating. Makes me sad to be alive. That was horrible. Well, I mean, we got a lot of money. And with this money, I will build my church. Rest in pepperoni. Rest in pepperoni. Yara rune. You know one of these days is going to come out, right? I had a dream. I will not give up. Double Yera. I give up. So, uh, okay, pop this. It was a good plus two damage, minus six tears. It's just fine. It'll be very much plentifully enough to beat... He just teleported. But plentiful to beat Blue Baby. Uh, this was a good run. We did lose the first one. I'm sorry about that. But, uh... Happens to the best of us. That's gonna do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to slap that like button. Helps me out a ton. Go watch some of the other stuff on the channel uh, that we're doing for the 25 Days of Christmas. I think you really will enjoy. And go raid Rystar because I want to see him succeed in life. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!